Hey everyone, before I start this video, I just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Wolas for helping me with this project and inspiring me to make it. His recently released level in the radiator, and his philosophy behind it was the driving force behind my making this video, and I highly recommend going and checking that out and reading up about what Wolas has to say about this topic in his pacement, talking about the level before watching this, as that will likely fill you in on the direction that this video is going to take and give you some background information and I will be referencing in the radiator in the pace when he wrote up on it multiple times in this video. I'm not saying you won't understand what I'm saying in this video if you don't go check it out, but I still would really appreciate it if you did and gave him some much deserved attention, as his work is inspiring and he and I see eye to eye on a lot of subjects in this video. Anyway, with all that said, let's get into it. Geometry Shadows has evolved significantly when it comes to what can be made in the editor since its early days. Throughout the updates, we have seen creating evolve to a level that no one, not even Robtop, could have anticipated it to come to. In 2.1 especially, we have seen boundaries been broken, expectations blown out of the water, and artistic masterpieces being realized. Yet, somehow, we continue to have our standards of awarded and featured levels dwell in a place that is far less advanced than what the overall community can achieve. There are multiple issues with the way the modern creating community perceives creating and geometry as a whole, and today, I want to address them once and for all. I have touched on them in much less effective ways in other videos, most namely my thinking space one, but admittedly, I did not do a very good job effectively arguing myself and anticipating counterclaims. Regardless, there are still many issues with the creating community, and I have been wanting to address them formally for a long time. Sadly, I have just never had the motivation to say something. But ever since I saw In the Radiator by Willess, I have been inspired to finally speak out about these problems. The modern creating player base has numerous mentality issues and problems with laziness and CP farming, and today I will be addressing it all. I am definitely not saying my ideas are 100% correct, but I really would appreciate it if you guys could watch all this video and hear me out, as we need to start standing for our creating standards. I am sure that there will be a lot of you who disagree, and I would like to hear what you guys have to say, too. This video isn't entirely to convince, but instead to provoke discussion about this topic. It's gone unnoticed for far too long, and it's time we say something about it, whether it's good or bad. I will be going over three main issues that I have with the modern creative community in this video. The first will be the problem with creator's mentality over creator points. The second will be addressing mono genre and issues of style conformity and intentionally unconventional levels. And the last will be looking at issues around the community's mindset and views toward what levels really are and mean in this game. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. The first issue I want to talk about is creators' mentality toward their own levels in GD. I think the way creators see GD a lot of the time is that it is a statistic farming game, and the more stats and points you have, the more you are essentially winning. While this can be said for a stat like stars or demons, I think it is a big mistake to think that creator points follow in the same fashion as a stat like demons or user coins. If a creator devotes themselves to grinding out levels to get creator points instead of spending time and giving care to each of their individual works, it compromises their artistic integrity as a creator, and shows that they only care about quantity over quality. However, this is the state that the overall majority of the smaller creating scene has reached. People that build parts in MCs and actually spend time on their levels aren't victim to this, as they evidently don't care about as CP as their sole focus. But I think that the majority of creators that churn out levels to get an easy feature have this goal of getting CP as their driving motivation. And unfortunately, as shrewd as it is, it works. The more creating points you have, the more smaller community members will worship you, not caring if your levels are actually quality or not. This really demonstrates how as a community, we have reached the point where individual skills are defined by a number on your account. I don't think mega collab builders suffer from this issue, as people that are more invested in the community understand what creators are good and which aren't, just from seeing MC parts. But the more disconnected and likely younger members of the community see these CP grinding creators and look at them starry-eyed like they are the best creators in the game, when in actuality, they could care less about the artistic integrity of their work. I really hope you can see the problem here. We need to stop glorifying the reputation of people with a lot of creator points, as we should only give them respect if they can back up their earnings with quality levels. The more that our standards are lowered by these creators that only want street cred from creator points and nothing else, the more we remove platform for actual good creators to grow and solidify their craft, which will make the amount of artistically talented creators dwindle immensely as GD goes on. In 2020 alone, we have seen a significant lack of actually good levels in the featured section, and while MC creators continue to make very cool works, the overall creating community outside of this continues to reside in their low-quality CP-grinding works, 
which takes over the attention of the overall audience in the outskirts of the game. One could argue that as we lower our standards, actual good artistic works stand out against the crowd and are more likely to be recognized by the community. But in reality, as the lines of what's acceptable for creating standards get more blurred, we will have a harder time even recognizing these good works. Of course, a very good looking level will stand out, but the more artistic works that actually mean something will blend in with the other levels, and they might even become shunned as we only expect this one type of style and standard. But that is an entirely separate issue, and in this next section of the video I will touch on it in more detail. The issue of creators grinding CP is still a huge problem that we need to address, and we need to stop giving a platform for these low effort creators as soon as possible, as they fill our featured section with meaningless works that say nothing significant. And as these ranks supreme over other levels, the overall artistic integrity of Geometry Dash is lowered and lowered to a point where self-expression is completely overridden and overlooked by the thought of getting creator points and the boost in their reputation that comes with this status. The second issue I'd like to go over is style conformity and the issue of monogenre in the creating community. Monogenre is a term coined by Willess, the creator of In the Radiator and he describes it as when a creator takes influence from a variety of sources and mashes them together into a single stylistically ambiguous look that manages to be reminiscent of a few styles but accurately represents none of them. Taken from his pacemen. I think that puts it in very simple terms, but if you still aren't getting it, it's basically when a creator takes inspiration from a bunch of styles and combines them into one, which results in an all over the place theme that kind of looks like some styles but doesn't fully represent them. Now, don't get me wrong here. I have no direct issue with the inherent idea of taking inspiration from a style, but way too often you see a creator building a style that they do not understand, and as a result, their product is very all over the place and, with this, the style or styles they are trying to create in are not correctly represented. I think Wallace puts it a great analogy in his write-up about In the Radiator. Essentially, monogenre is like taking the prettiest colors and mashing them all together, and unfortunately, their beauty is lost in this mixture and the final product turns out as an ugly shade of brown. Of course, the colors in this analogy would be the separate creating styles that are beautiful on their own, and the mixture would be the way creators take all the styles and misrepresent them, mashing them together into a really ugly shade of brown, or final product, that ruins it. On top of this, there are more issues with taking heavy inspiration from other creators. Oftentimes creators today will refuse to explore their own artistic ideas, and will simply take ideas from other styles and popular creators, which again, is not always a bad thing as they could just be expressing their ideas and art through other styles. But, I think the main reason people will do this is a want for CP and overall laziness. Don't get me wrong, I do think ideas can be very well represented through other people's styles, but I think people need to start learning how to also explore their own styles and be able to tap into their own true abilities as a creator, as without that, their levels will always be missing something, a void that can only be filled by self-expression. I believe that the reason that these soul styles and creating tendencies reign supreme above all others in the community is because as our collective creating ability goes up as a community, specific styles that manage to catch people's eyes construct the standards for creating, and anything outside them is subconsciously seen as weird or artistically offensive to the passing observer. I think a possibility is that if creators keep conforming to only a select few popular build styles, we will enter a sort of funnel, and we won't be able to see the mastery of other styles beyond what we have been conditioned to. Other styles will then be pushed away, and experimental works will be shunned and the community will just enter a state where they only accept a few styles. Of course, this is an extreme example, and there will always be creators that break the norms and manage to make very cool works, but we are already seeing this happen, and while I doubt artistic levels will be vanquished entirely, the entire featured and epic section is already filled with low quality works that don't deserve the praise they are given, as they are all the same and they all feed off each other in the popular designs that the community enjoys and approves of. However, there is another problem that is the polar opposite of this. Because there is a large party in the community that already resents style conformity and generic design, there is a growing demand for experimental levels, as people think these are beyond criticism and are truly prime examples of artwork in GD. Now, you might ask, why is this an issue? I thought art forms were the thing that we were trying to get more of, not these generic levels. While that is definitely true, a lot of the time these creators will intentionally make something weird, but instead of making it weird for the purpose of atmosphere or effect, they make it with no real purpose in mind, if only they'd give it the title of experimental and not take any criticism because of it. Experimental levels are not beyond criticism. I see too often creators build a level that is intentionally weird and expect people not to give criticism, as apparently levels labeled experimental lose the aspect of constructive criticism and feedback, when in reality, 
The purpose of experimental levels anyway is to test the water and see how people respond, or to find a style for your own reasoning, neither of which these creators that make these mindlessly weird levels accomplish. There are definitely weird levels out there that are good, but these are only good because they are mindfully unique. The kind of thing I am talking about is just levels that have off-putting design choices for no reason other than to get attention to their level and to avoid criticism and actual constructive feedback. Of course, this is the opposite of the issue I previously mentioned, and together these two issues gravitate both portions of the community to one end or the other. On the one side we have the people who mindlessly consume monogeneric style amalgamations just because they have been conditioned to the styles present and they are used to them. And on the other side, we have the people who take comfort in the fact that they support weird or non-conventional levels, which is a mistake, as most of these weird levels do not know what they are doing. This leaves the middle ground, where the people who admire and celebrate artistically advanced levels reside, and for the most part, it is becoming increasingly hard for you to even recognize what is a well-made artistic work now because of the oversaturation of weird levels. There is more to what makes a good level than how weird it is. You need to actually understand what you are doing before you can just slap together obscure designs and effects to make an atmosphere and you need to have in mind what you are feeling you are going for. If you don't, your creation will be soulless, and it won't actually artistically represent anything, which makes it pointless. These are the issues with these levels, and the major problems with mono-genre and style conformity, and how the community has handled it and made an entire sub-genre of levels that just intentionally makes no sense artistically as to avoid criticism. This problem has gone unnoticed for a very long time, and I hope you guys can see what I am saying about it. Whether you agree or disagree with it, I do think it is a trend that has popped up but essentially gone unrealized for too long, and hope this section of the video finally put it in the spotlight. The final issue I want to talk about today is the community and Robtop's overall mindset toward what levels mean and what they truly are and represent in GD. When Geometry Dash was originally made, it was definitely not intended to be a game for artists. I doubt Robic ever expected people to spend the amount of time that they do on levels but it has happened. Despite the limits of the editor, though, and what creators have already made, our standards and Rob's standards still somehow dwell in the pit of minimal effort that is the featured tab. This makes sense, though. Rob can't endorse these object-heavy level masterpieces as much as he should, as they are representative of what the game's anticipated functioning ability should be and what is acceptable, so he can't make these levels the norm, as a large majority of the community is kids who play on mobile devices. Creating standards have increased dramatically from what the game originally was made to be, and I don't think Rob was prepared to deal with the level of complexity that levels have reached nowadays. The kids that play the game also cannot appreciate unique or artistically authentic levels as much as the creators and older players that are behind them. And so, if they see these levels getting more and more attention, they may not understand them and may stop liking the game as much. Kids don't care if they are low quality levels, because as long as they have some cool effect or something they will be satisfied. However. We have reached a point where Geometry Dash is not just a kid's game anymore. We have come to the point where people do make masterpieces and push them into the editor, and we need to start recognizing this and tuning our standards to the overall community level of achievement. Of course, I am not saying that every level that was released needs to be some artistic masterpiece, as that would be unfair to creators and it wouldn't allow for new players to build in their style, but we need to stop giving platforms to these levels that rip off styles and mindlessly copy other creators and lower our standards. As these become acceptable, we are again pushing away creators who want to make well-made levels on artistic works, and encouraging conformity to one style or styles that reign above the rest. In modern times, much of the creating community only cares about creator points and success, and that is a big flaw in the creating player base. It results in the stylistic conformity that has risen up and having creators being stuck in a loop of repetition when it comes to what types of levels they make. People don't improve on their style anymore, they just find something that works and gets rated, and they allow themselves to keep making levels that all look and feel the exact same, as this strategy gets them creator points and success in the creating community. Unfortunately, these things won't change unless we push change. I'm sure there will be a lot of disagreements from our arguments in this video, and though you guys will probably see different in a lot of things I say, for the people that do resonate with the points I made, please start speaking out about this issue. Share this video and will less his new level, not for the purpose of giving us individual attention, but for the purpose of giving the issue a platform to make itself known. Frustratingly enough, we can't do anything individually, but if we get this video traction, we can put it in the eyes of big GD mods and influencers who might take the issue to heart and decide to make a change. No matter if you have a good or bad reception to this message, I really would appreciate a comment that says your thoughts on this, as it would help me get an idea of how the community feels about the subject. I hope I argued my points effectively on this, as this problem is something I am very passionate about and I have felt it for a long time, so I hope you gauge you guys understand the issues behind this trend that has been going on in the background for so long. 
Again, if you have any thoughts on this, share this video and in the radiator by less, as it would really mean a lot to us. We can't fight this battle by ourselves, but if we can get it in the community eye, maybe we can make a change. Thank you all very much for listening this far, and I hope you can see our points and decide to take them to heart and make a difference. Well, that's all the issues I have to discuss in this video. Again, if you guys see our points, please take the time to share this video and spread the word about these issues. It would mean a lot to me and one less, and even if you disagree, please tell me what you think in the comments, as we want to see what the community thinks about these discussion topics. Geometry Nash's creating has truly evolved to something much more than what it was intended. It has blossomed into an art form, and I think this is something we need to nurture and protect, as it has become such an amazing tool of self-expression for so many creators. But, if we don't make sure we keep our standards in check, and ensure that we don't allow lazy and minimal effort works to reign at the top, it could start to spiral downhill from the point we have reached. Art and Geometry Dash is something I want to preserve, and again, if you want to preserve it too, please share this and use the topics in this video as discussions for engagement, whether that's in the comment section or a public server. Really quickly before I end, I want to give one final thank you to Willess for helping me with this video. As I said in the beginning, he inspired me to make it and helped me edit the script and make our arguments as solid and as straightforward as possible. I couldn't have done this without him, and I would really love it if you guys went and checked out his channel and his new level, as it relates heavily to this topic, and he is just a very good creator and community presence in general. Anyway, I think I have dragged this on long enough. If you have anything at all to say on this topic, feel free to drop a comment, and if you guys enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, but no pressure. With all that said, I hope you all have a very good rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.